Hi guys, this is Mihai from DNN Sharp again. Today I will show you one of the shortest tutorials ever. Uh, you know that all the nice tutorials can be found on our blog, blog.dnnsharp.com slash 1001. Also you can subscribe to our uh, YouTube channel. You just search for DNN Sharp on YouTube. Subscribe in order to be notified every time we upload a new video tutorial. And today I will show you how you can allow the users to register and log in on your website with their social media accounts. We're going to talk about Facebook, Twitter and Google+. In order to do that, you will need one of the add-ons from DNN Sharp. If you go on our webpage under Integrations, down to the bottom, you will find the social media integration add-on. Please take note that this add-on is not part of the collections, but you can purchase it for only $70, $69.95. And it will allow you to register and log in users with their Facebook, Twitter or Google Plus accounts. You just need to buy it, download it, install it on your DNN website and then let's get started. I have an action form here. Let's go to the manage form screen. And I will only show you how to log in with um, Facebook. Let's add a button. Let's call it Facebook login. And on this button, add an action, which you will find under the social media group, Facebook login. This action needs a couple parameters in order to work, which are the application ID and the API secret key. In order to get this, you can just uh, do a Google search for Facebook API ID and secret key. It will redirect you to a tutorial on how to create an app ID. I already created mine, but if you follow this tutorial, it will be very easy for you. Create and set up your app. I'll just go to my already created uh, app. I have my app here and I'm going to copy the application ID. Let's paste it here. And the second one, the API secret. Of course, you will have to add the actions that will need to happen on register or on login. If you want to redirect the user to a specific page or take some actions, make some inserts in your database or send emails or something like that, you can add them here. Click Save and refresh the page with the form. We have a Facebook login button. We click on it. Oh, and in case this happens, make sure you've correctly set up your uh, Facebook app. Copy your uh, website URL and go to the Facebook Developer Console. Make sure you paste the URL in the App Domains field, Save Changes, and also go to the Facebook Login product and paste the same URL in the valid of redirect URIs. Paste it here, select, click save changes. Now let's try that again. And there it is. And now I'm logged in with my Facebook account. That was all. See you soon.